Hi everybody, today I will show you how to create single post template in Elementor. So let's begin. Alright, so to create the single post template, what we need to do, we just have to go inside the post and here we have to click on add a new post. Okay, so here I'm going to simply write down dummy post as the template for our post. And now I just simply click on edit with Elementor. Okay, so the one thing that I wanted to mention here that to create the post template, you don't have to publish this. You can simply save this as a template. All right. So let's just start here with the design. So I'm going to start here with the heading. So in the heading, I can simply put anything, whatever I want. So that can be like placeholder heading. All right. And after this, what I would like to do, I would like to add some text. Okay. So let's add the text here and I'll just copy this text and paste it again so that we can have some text. All right. So after this, what I can do here, I can simply add the two column structure if I wanted to. So let's add the container. That would be the flex box, two column structure. All right. So in the first one, I can put the image. Or I can also use the video if I wanted to. So let's go for the image right now. And add some image here. So that would be, I think I would go here with this one. So let's select this. And on the right side, I can add heading or the paragraph. Okay, so I would go here with the heading. And I would also add the paragraph as well. So let's add the text here. Perfect. All right. So let's just copy the text. All right, so now this is looking better. And in the heading, we can put something like any text or the heading. So let's write down heading. Okay, so one thing, these are just like the placeholder for our template. Okay, so whenever you use this template in your post, you can actually replace all the values here so you can simply replace the text in the heading and you can simply play around with the designing part the content part of the elements okay so you don't have to worry about that whatever i put here all right and after this what i would like to do i just wanted to have some space between this section and this section so let's go back and i would use here the divider and we can also use the spacer if i wanted to but now let's just go here with the divider and this would be maybe 30%. I will align this into center. All right. So now this is looking great. And uh, we can also put one more text here. So let's put one more text. That's great. All right. So now I would also like to add the button as well. All right. So for that, I would need to use the container again. It would be the single column structure. And now let's just add the button. Perfect. I just put this into the center maybe. And I can change the text into download now or something else. All right. And as we know that in the blog post, we always have the ads in between. So if you wanted to have the aid, in between your template then you simply go back and you simply search for HTML and inside that you can simply write down the code or you will simply copy paste the code of your ads all right so now let's just remove this because I don't have any ad right now but now I think the template is looking fine just to get the idea and now what I will do I'll just simply click on this arrow and you can see this we have the two options save a draft and the second option is to save as a template so i want to save this as a post template so that is why i'll just simply click on save as a template but remember this will be saved as the page template on the elementor but we can use this in the post as well so you don't have to worry about that so let's click on save as a template and you can give a name to it so that would be post template so let's click on save. Perfect. Now you can see this. We have the post template here. So I'll simply close this. 
and I'll simply go back to the WordPress dashboard click on leave page all right so now what I will do I just simply create a new post so let's click on add new post and here I will need to add the name of it here let's just write down new post and now let's click on add it with Elementor all right so if you don't want it to have this title of the post you can simply click on the settings and from here you can see the option of the hide title so I just simply enable this and now you won't be able to see any title here okay now let's just learn to use our post template so for that I will simply click on here add template and here I will simply go to my templates and as we know that we have created post template here so I just simply click on insert here and click on apply all right so now you will be able to have our template so we have our heading we have our paragraph we have our divider and then the two column structure and also the button so if I wanted to add it the text I can simply add it or change the text from it and if I wanted to change the heading text I can simply do this from here so I can have this as a new post and similarly I can also change the styling of our elements here so if I wanted to change the background color of our heading so I can simply click here and click on the text color so that would be white and I would also change the background color of our heading so for the background color I would click on the background in the advanced settings and here click on background type so let's click on the color so that would be black so that is how I can also change the designing of our element as well okay so that is how it works and that is how we can create post template and now you can see this I simply change the background color of our heading as well and even if I wanted to change the image I would just simply click on the image here and click on the choose image and from here I can simply change the image from here all right so you can see here and also the button as well so everything here that we have created in our template is basically customizable from the content to the designing all right but it is really helpful because the template is kind of reusable okay so that will really help us to save up the time while writing the blog post so that is how we can create the post template in Elementor. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe the channel.